Welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share, and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Berg. I'm having three plus years of work experience and worked on Red Hat, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash script. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on itesfun.com. Welcome everyone to Decode ITS. So in this lesson, we will gonna learn about the root user in Linux. Like what is root user and how this will work. What are the precautions we need to take care while uh, running commands or taking actions over the environment using root user access? The root user is the username or account that is by default has access to all the commands and the files on a Linux or Unix like operating system. It is also referred to as the root account, root user, or we can say the super user in Linux. The root user is also known as the super user or administrator. It is a special user account in Linux used for the system administration. It is the most privileged user on the Linux system environment and it has access to all the commands and files. The root user can do many things with an ordinary user account, such as installing a new software, changing the ownership of files and managing other user accounts. It is not recommended to use root for the ordinary task, such as browsing the web, writing text, a simple mistake can cause problems with the entire environment. For example, if we mistype a command, it is advisable to create a normal user account for such task and assign required permissions. If root permissions are needed, then the su and sudo command can be used. Let's talk about the privileges and permissions. Root privileges are the powers that the root account has on the environment. The root account is most privileged on the system operating system and has absolute power over it. Like it comes like it is having complete access to all the files and commands among roots powers are the ability to modify the system environment in any way like changing uh, permissions or the password of another user accounts as well and to grant and revoke access of permissions like the ability to read modify and execute special files and directories for other users, including any of those that are by default reserved or root. The permissions under the system in Unix-like operating system, such as Linux, is set by default to prevent access by ordinary users to the critical parts of the system and to files and directories belonging to the other users. This is because it is very, very easy to damage a Unix-like operating system with having root access. However, an important principle of Unix-like operating system is the provision of maximum flexibility to configure the system OS. And thus the root user is fully empowered. Make sure you use it with caution. The first point here it is, like the Linux systems, Assume that the system administrator knows exactly what he or she is doing and that only such individuals will be using root account to access. Thus, entire environment is having no safety net for the root user in the event of carelessness error, such as damaging or deleting a critical file system file, which could make the entire system inoperable. For this reason, we would strongly encourage you to make backup of any files or directories you are having or you are working on with. Adding to the danger of routine. Using the system as root in fact 
that all processes like instances of a program in execution started by the root user have root privileges. Because even the most widely used and well-tested application program contains numerous program errors due to the huge amount of code required and its great complexity. A skilled attacker can often find and exploit such an error to obtain control of a system when a program is running with root privileges rather than using an ordinary user account with its limited privileges. A critical means for preventing users from directly damaging Unix-like operating system or increasing the vulnerability of such system to damage by others is avoidance of using the root account except when absolutely necessary even by knowledgeable and experienced system administrators. That is rather than routinely logging into the root or using the root account to log into the system, administrators should log in with their admin account and then use the su command. This will provide you with root privileges only as needed and without requiring a new login. You must be thinking of when to use root then. So the tasks that require root privileges include moving files or directories into or out of the system directories like directories that are critical to the functioning of the operating system, popping files into the system directories, granting or revoking user privileges, some system repairs and the installation of some application programs. By default, it is not necessary to be root to be able to read most configuration files and documentation files in a system directories. Although it is a necessary to be root to modify them. Root privileges are usually required for installing software in RPM, the Red Hat Package Manager. It is a package format because of the need to write to the system directories. If an application program is being compiled, like converted into the enable form, from source code, like the original human readable form, however, it can usually be configured to install and run from user's home directory. Root privileges are not needed by an ordinary user. To compile and install software in its home directory and compiling software as root should be avoided for security reasons as well. At the end, we are going to discuss stepping smart with root access. If you would like to secure and interact with your system in this manner, we suggest to disable direct root logins. It is good like uh, you are saving the password under some password manager directories and if someone take out the password, there should be any log, but there might be a possibility that the user is not going to take out the password for a second use and he or she is saving at the local files. The security associated with SU can be increased by using its own C option, which terminates it and causes an immediate return to the former user account after the current command has completed execution or any program that it has launched has been closed. So for this, you can just disable the root access or you can disable the SSH access from the server and grant admin access to all the user accounts you want uh, that they will work on the system. That's all with the power of root user under the Linux environment. We'll continue learning with Linux 8 from next videos. If you're having any queries, you can reach out to us on decodeits or itesfun.com. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and comment our videos. Also subscribe to our channel.